There are so many moving parts and deadlines when it comes to a custom home. Today we are going to be conducting a frame walk with my clients who are in the middle of their custom home build. We will dive into the frame walk, then I will share with you the next steps after the frame walk. Follow me. I mean, you guys didn't really select too many a la carte items, so it is pretty quick. Yeah. Um, you know, if there's any issues with, with anything, just, you know, during the walk, just let me know. Mm -hmm. We'll address it, you know what I mean? You guys put a door on the wrong side. That's almost what we're gonna fix. Upstairs. A door on the wrong side? Okay. okay. We'll go look. Yeah, we can walk that. Yeah. Mark it up. That's why we do this, right? Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. And the next step in the house, what is to put the, what's it called? Drywall. The drywall. The drywall, yeah. You see all that? Mm -hmm. the, you guys are gonna put the drywall on top of that, right? No, all that will get cleaned. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, whether an outlet is crooked or you know, um, okay. you know, a wire is on top of a fire sprinkler, you know, whatever the case may be, all the internals will QAQC it, and then from that point, we'll QAQC. We'll give the trades three days to fix all their items, and then we'll go for a city rough inspection. The inspector will come out and walk everything that we already walked, okay. and then the next day we'll go right into insulation. Okay, so we. We thought that that was already all done. Yes. That's why she was like, what's going on? Because on her email, you know, I was inspecting her because I wanted yeah. to talk to her. Yeah. On the email, she's like, oh, we're pretty much done. Yeah. Once we have that inspection date, installation's already scheduled for the next day. Okay. Mm -hmm. So. Gotcha. And, I do, and then we three do, days and then drywall. We home here, so we do need... Yeah, we want to make sure it's clean. Yeah. Like over there. Absolutely. Stuff. We saw, like, so okay. something we don't have access to, but I know you guys have the drone if you want to use yeah. that. Yeah, um, there's For the lights, a, right? Yeah, there was yeah. an added switch over here okay. on this hallway, okay. and that was added for your two a la carte. It was your future for your uh, Christmas lights. Christmas lights. Yeah. Yeah. So it'll be in the top parapet in the front of the house. Okay. You won't see it. It'll be behind the, the parapet wall. Yeah. Okay. okay. So that was added there, yeah. um, one on each side, mm -hmm. if you Got guys want to drone yep. that. Yep. And the switch will be right here. Okay. It says under counter. Do you want it in the upper? That's what you're saying, Rhonda? You yeah, want it in the upper, gonna, right? The lights are going to go under the upper counter. Yeah. Okay. We're just going to move those up. Yeah. Okay, so we made a note here. We'll get these moved up and we'll pop them into the cab for you and we'll finish trim them. Perfect. Okay. There's so this is going to come up? Yep. Yeah. This so one's going to come up. Okay. That one will come up and this okay. one will come up over here as well. We'll bring this one up into the upper cab. Okay. Now, the best place for that, though, would it be inside the cabinet so you can hide it? I think so because you have a little transformer inside mm -hmm. the cabinet yeah. and then you have the lights underneath. That's what we've been doing lately, yeah. Okay. They've been preferring it a lot because you don't see it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, and then we just leave a little hole in the bottom and they can just run their whip out yeah. and down and across. All right. Perfect. So, um, that was actually in the kitchen. There actually is one. There's a ceiling fan. There was an added switch over here mm -hmm. for a ceiling fan pre wire on your patio. Your switch will be right here. And you'll have a J box that they're unburying. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be right up top there. Okay. okay. It'll be a J box for that one. There was also another one on this side. It was a ceiling fan pre wire. You'll have it right here. You can see the J box poking out. That's the same thing that'll get put over there. Yeah. And you'll have another switch for that one right here. Okay. All right. Nice. Are we gonna do ceiling fan or? Yeah, it's yep. a ceiling fan. Nice. Yep. And then you had another switch that was added here for your step lights going up. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Let's go ahead and go to the master suite, and then we'll hop, pop upstairs. Okay. Now there has been some concern. Um, this is something I want to run by you. This outlet right here, it's a better finish when it's down below. Okay. Um, sometimes it calls for it up here, but it's kind of just sticks out. 
Yeah. So what we've been trying to do is pop them in the bottom okay. for you so that yeah. it's not, you know, it's not sticking out in the front of your elevation there. Yeah, let's put it there. So if you're cool with that, we can leave it there. If not, we can yeah. pop it back up. And how are the base boards go around with that? Is there a base board there? They'll just cut into it, yeah. Okay, sure. All right, we'll make our way to the master suite. This pivot door is awesome. Yeah. yeah. As we call it now, the primary. Huge. Huge. Okay, primary. And the only thing we added in here was the outlet for future under counter LED lighting as well. And that was on each vanity. Okay. So you got one whip right there. And our, our floating cabinets are usually about 10 and a half inches from the bottom. So it'll start right about here. Yeah. It'll be right at the base of your cabinet. So you should never see it. Okay. It'll be right underneath it. Perfect. Hugging the bottom of the cab. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's one there and there should be another one right over here. Mm -hmm. Yep, we got another one right here. Okay. All right, yeah. And then you do have pool equipment location. So it calls for it over here, um, but we ended up moving it to kitchen side and that's typical in an Apex model. Okay. And the reason we do that as a standard is so that you don't hear the equipment oh, when you're okay. trying to sleep. Mm -hmm. I see. So what we do is we switch it over to the other side. Yeah, yeah, I think mm -hmm. you said um, we didn't want it. Yeah. yeah. Makes sense. We typically yeah. try and do that just to save you some peace of yeah. mind, you know? Yeah. So, cool. all right. Let's do the concrete floor. Over there. What? Across the street. Over there? Yeah. Did some the house, the house across the street, the floor. Oh, they did the finished concrete? Yeah. 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 They got finished concrete. Floor. Yeah. He's okay. saying some elite. Oh, Correct. It wasn't the dragon. It wasn't yeah. the same. It's in Dragon Rock, but it's a separate division of ours. They do they custom, custom one-offs. Oh. Yeah. Nice. Your neighbor's a custom one-off. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Did you like the? the... She wanted to come oh. floor, but they, they said we couldn't do it. Oh. She... Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. Yeah, I'm not as far as where are the okay. options that they offer on this side when you guys go through For, the design okay. block, okay. but. Okay. They do the. We got the. Lighting recess lighting. The VMC. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. That doesn't change any of the. No, it falls in the same. Okay. The same light, everything will fall. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, you'll kind of see it on like this, for example. You have your linear can, everything yeah. will line up. Yeah. Yeah. And then it'll They're be really a nice. nine inch trough that gets painted like a matte black. Yeah. For detail. Yeah, very nice. Yep. Okay. The high ceiling. Added a can light, center, move J box. So we got your J box here. We added a can light, move your J box to your yeah. center. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice. Very cool. Okay. All right, we'll make our way upstairs. Let's go look at that door. And just so she's aware too, I was explaining to him there's another switch you guys added right here, and that was for your step lights going all the way up the staircase here. There was another switch that was added for that. This is a storage closet. Okay. So here's the AC, right? Yep, this and is I, an FAU. Yep. So this also makes sense. If that's a storage closet, this needs to be closed. There's a door there and a door there. Yep, uh, that's yeah. that's the typical layout for this one. When you open it up, your door will come in this way, you close it, and, then, and this door no, would no, open. I know how it works. But it doesn't That's make sense. A... So if we can change that, because I don't need that storage closet, so it doesn't matter if the door's gonna be on this side or the other side. Okay. I can run it up the ladder and we can get some info on it, yeah. Okay. Let so you guys know. This makes sense to have the yeah. Sure. Yeah. yeah. in the kid's bathroom, you know? It, it <laughs> That's already a closet. Yeah. So. I understand, yeah. yeah. I get it. Yeah, let me uh, let me do some research, see what I can finagle and see what we can work out, okay? No problem. That's, that yeah. So this is your room? Nice. So far this is nice. actually picked. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, there are older options, but yeah. this is... <laughs> nice. Yeah. Is that the one with the zero closet? Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. Oh my Why god. Why not, right? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So the only thing that we had up here was bed five over here. You had to move outlets to be seven feet apart over here. This is for bedroom five. And that was these two right here. You have these ones spread apart right here. Yeah. Awesome. Seven feet. Yeah. yeah. So you got your TV, you got your yeah. bed. Mm -hmm. Yep. So those were seven feet apart. 
And then we do not have a spiral staircase to go on the sky deck. Um, we don't typically do that until later anyway, after the stucco and everything has been shot. Okay. okay. Um, so that might be something that you'd have to shoot with the drone. Yep. But that does show the fu uh, fire feature location at the okay. center of the sky deck. Need some and right? yep, yep. Yep. Two GFCIs that were added right there. Okay. Okay. And that'll also coincide with the Christmas lights on the gotcha. top parapets yep. on the front side. Awesome. We'll check that. But other than that, it was just in the extended loft. You guys did add a TV at 66 inches. Oh, nice. Power for TV. You have your standard over here, and you guys added an additional one over here. Yep. So we awesome. got two. Okay. But yeah, other than that, like, downstairs what's that? outside, right? What's a TV downstairs? Yeah, that's the standard. Yeah. TV and TV. Yeah, okay. Yes. Yep. Okay. There's also one outlet out here that we moved more accessible to the center. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, other than that, it's just the sky deck. Like I said, if mm -hmm. that's something that you're able to help mm -hmm. out with just to get a visual for you mm -hmm. guys, you know? Yeah. But I yeah. There's two wires going up there, no? What's that? There's two wires going up there from in here, right? Yeah, you'll be able to see it. The center of your sky deck, right there. There's your gas and there's your whip right there. Okay, yeah. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. Yep. For the you fireplace? Are you doing a yeah, fireplace, fireplace up to mm -hmm. Nice. Yep. Awesome. Perfect. But other than that, that's pretty much all the a la carte. Um, any questions for me? Uh, no, I think that was it. The main thing, we thought that everything was ready to get, um, the front yeah. inspection was done, eh? So like all the stuff in the walls, the drywall and stuff. And then no. there's, I don't know, how picky they get with the wood, but like some of them are like complete crack and stuff like that. It, it happens a lot actually, one. but what we'll do is we'll scab another one next to okay, it. Okay, I see. So that'll be part of our QA, QC. So if we see a split stud or a, P, a chunk missing, we'll yeah. add a scab or we'll throw another one next to it. Okay. That'll be part of our QA, QC. When we mark it out, there'll be a bunch of blue paint here coming up this week. Okay. You'll see blue paint all over if you come back and walk the house. But we'll address, you know, all yeah. the extra mm -hmm. dust yep. and dirt and debris and stuff like that as well. Yeah. yeah. And then I was explaining to her, um, typically from, with a blue heron home, especially in Apex, typically yeah. from drywall, we're at about four Four months so okay. close. Mm -hmm. So we want to QC this this week, yeah. which will give us those three days to let the trades finish their, their work. Yeah. They'll go for inspection early to mid next week. Okay. Yeah. So by that okay. time, we should be into insulation by the end of next week. Yeah. Okay. And then that's three days for insulation, insulation inspection, and yeah. then roll right into drywall. Mm -hmm. So once we start taping and mudding your drywall, yeah. we're about four months away from closing. Okay. So. so like October, early October, right? Yeah. It's possible, yeah. yeah. Cool. Give or take, yeah. All right. And then, I mean, they're already working on all the off-sites. There were some utilities that we had to work on with gas and, you know, okay. water and stuff like that. But that's stuff that's not going to concern your home. Yeah. Right. So, you know, with the where we're at in production right now, that'll all be finished. So Great. we'll be able to tie in all your laterals and everything like that prior to closing. Get everything acclimated, stretch your carpet out, right. add your appliances, so on and so forth. Yep. Excellent. So, yeah. Once we get a drywall, it'll look a lot bigger in here too. I'm sure you're aware. I think you guys you said you've done a couple other builds, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Once you get your drywall on, it'll look a lot bigger. But um, I don't know how your experience was with the other home builders. But once we get drywall in here, we can stack finished trades, so it goes a lot quicker. Oh. Okay, this good. is really our longest process. Once our drywall's on, it's yeah, it's quick. Nice. So. Awesome. We just need that contact for those people, because it's here too, right? The flooring. The flooring people. Can we get the concrete? They, we did the yeah. concrete floor. Really? I can try and get it. I don't know who they use. We don't use. They use different sure. trade partners yeah. than we do. Oh, okay. They can outsource to whoever they want. We have a standard contract with whoever we use on our side, but we can find out. Okay. Yeah. Because they did a good job. Yeah. yeah. Well, we didn't. Yeah, we didn't upgrade the floor. So we, yeah, no, we don't want to hire someone yeah. and then break mm -hmm. things. Right. Okay. Okay. I'm sure, we can get that. I don't know who the... Yeah, if we can fix that door and clean those corners, mm -hmm. we're good. Okay. Yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll talk to my upper management about the door situation. And, and just, then... you know, let him know that it doesn't make sense. It's not... I'm not sure why they put that yeah. in design, maybe for the bigger closet space. Just based no, on... It has nothing to do with the closet. Cool. Right? The, uh, somebody designed it. A designer sat there and said, this yeah. is a good place for the door. I wonder why. Maybe he was having a bad day. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. 
Okay. Are we good? Yeah, because your AV is downstairs. Sometimes they put it up here. Yeah. But your AV yeah, is downstairs there. in this one. Yeah. So yeah, I don't see any reason why we can't. Yeah. Um, we might just we'll just have to frame a you know a new header and stuff like that. Yeah. But I mean, it wouldn't be anything crazy to do. So. Right. Mm -hmm. Be a quick fix. Yeah. So but I under, I understand. On that no, so we don't. Exactly, yeah, we don't offer any closet yeah, system yeah. anymore. Mm -hmm. yeah. Just it's open. not like they have to take something to cook, you know. The only thing we do in the closets is linen and pantry now mm -hmm. as a standard. Yeah. Um, we stopped doing closet systems yeah. because we found out most people Perfect. tear them out and do custom yes, anyway. That's so. what we do too. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah um, but yeah, we'll definitely. Like I said, we'll paint it out with blue with blue paint. Okay, You'll cool. see all that get taken out, mm -hmm. all the all the dirt and stuff. Perfect. And I'll take some pictures. And I think you said yeah. you get a video. Yeah, I'll stop by next week. Yeah, yeah. I could do video. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Get back on the 19th. So by mm -hmm. then, you guys gonna have your stuff done. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Like a lot. Yeah. 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 A lot done. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. It'll be fun to come check it out. Any more questions for me? Or? Yeah. No, no. It's just that door. <laughs> okay. Alrighty. <laughs> You can take care of that. Later. The inspector will come in, he'll check electrical, plumbing, he'll check straps, make sure there's no wires on fire sprinklers, he'll make sure that, that we're pressurized, yeah. we'll fill the system, he'll check for all the fire blocking, um, draft stops, anything like that. Okay. And then he'll he'll either peg us or he'll say, Hey, yeah. you know, call it in for tomorrow, you know. Mm -hmm. Right, yeah, yeah. But they, they work really well with us. If it's a couple fire blocks or something, they'll say, okay. Hey, we'll pass it, send me a you know. Got it. Let us know or something, yeah. or we'll pop back by later today if you can get it done. Okay. Cool. So we just finished our frame walk, and I just wanted to give you guys a high overview of what just happened. So follow me. So at a frame walk, it's really important to understand what we're checking for. And what we're checking for are all the additional upgrades on top of the standard finishes that the Blue Heron already has that my clients have decided to upgrade. So in this floor plan, we actually have all those specifications called out. And most of these are electrical, um, electrical upgrades. So for example, we're adding additional cam lights or additional pendant lighting electricals for you know, the kitchen island. Those are all the upgraded items that we're gonna be looking for. So we wanna make sure we have those outlets, as well as if we have, for example, upstairs on the roof deck, my clients have decided to do a fire pit. So we wanna make sure that the gas line does go indeed to the second level. So those are the things that we're gonna be looking for. And we will actually, as I walk you through the house right now, I will point those things out so you can see for yourself. And then there were a couple of things that my clients noticed. So I will also bring that up to you. These are things that they want addressed. So a couple of things. Um, as far as the framework, we don't have the quality control inspection that's going to be done next week. My clients thought that was already done. So they were just concerned that, you know, obviously there's a lot of debris and, and dirtiness. In fact, we are going to get a deep clean. We will go get that uh, taken care of next week before inspection comes. And then after inspection, that's when basically the drywall process begins. They usually start with the insulation process, which is about three days. So within that three day process, they're going to insulate the whole house the walls, the ceilings, the garage doors, and then after that we go into the drywall process. So I can't wait to show that to you, but let's just walk through the house. I just want to make note of a couple things as far as these a la carte upgrades that my clients have done and what we checked during the frame walk. So come follow me. So one of the things my clients is doing is they're going to be adding some lighting for their staircase. So they added an additional light switch here. We also have additional lighting outside in their uh, covered backyard area. These uh, J boxes are now installed, so there's actually two, so that my clients could install a ceiling fan or ceiling lights if they wanted to outside, and that's all pre-wired. We're here on the second level balcony, and I want you guys to take in this gorgeous, stunning mountain views that we have here in McDonald Highlands. Just take a look at these beautiful views. We could actually see the greens. As you know, at McDonald Highlands, we have Dragon Ridge Golf Community, so you can see the green uh, golf courses right there. And what my clients decided to do is because of this positioning of this particular lot and home, my clients decided to do a third level roof deck, and there we will have that fireplace. And from there, you could actually enjoy strip views. So I can't wait to show that to you when this home is finally completed. We're here on the second level, and one of the things that we wanted to check is that we wanted to double check that the gas line indeed went upstairs to the roof deck because my clients have decided to make a roof deck that overlooks at the strip views with a fire pit. So as you can see, the black pipes right here above me 
is indeed going upstairs to the third level. That is the gas line, and these are the things that we check for in the framewalk and make sure that it's installed properly. In case we haven't met yet, konnichiwa, my name is Kaori Nagao, your global real estate advisor for Las Vegas Sotheby's International Realty. Whether you're looking for a new construction home like this one or a resale home anywhere in the world, I will be more than happy to help you along the way for your home buying process. Thank you so much for watching my videos. I really appreciate that you engage with me and make sure you smash that subscribe button so other viewers like yourself could find me online. And let's keep going. One of the things that my clients notice and it's very important to know in a framewalk is if you see any cracks or any you know, slits in the wood material here, we want to make sure we identify it and let the superintendent know because what Patrick had said is most likely they, he'll get this replaced and or add an additional support below it to make sure that this is all structurally sound and secure. And one of the things that we discussed regarding the primary bedroom is the location of the HVAC system. So follow me, let's go to the primary bedroom and let me give you a highlight recap of what we discussed as far as the location of the HVAC system. So here we are in the spacious primary bedroom. Originally, the HVAC system was gonna be right behind this wall on the side of the home. Now, as you may know, and obviously with all the energy efficient HVAC system, it's not as loud as it used to be, but obviously, you know, HVAC system does, you know, produce some noises. And wouldn't you agree that you will want to actually move the HVAC system to the other side of the house and not right by your primary bedroom? I thought it was a great idea that the Blue Heron team already thought about relocating the HVAC system to the other side of the home by the kitchen. We don't want to have any noise interferences, especially when we want to get our beauty sleep. Don't you agree? So what happens after this framewalk? After this framewalk, we were able to identify a few things that my clients wanted us to adjust or keep in mind before the quality control and the inspection happens next week. So a few things that was identified was number one, we had a lot of debris in the house and this is because the contractors are still working on the house but we wanted to make sure all these debris was cleaned out before we go into insulation. Next week, the inspector is gonna come back, go over all the quality control items of all the items that have been placed in the house. So they're gonna check the electrical, they're gonna check the plumbing, they're gonna check the gas, they're gonna check the HVAC. They're gonna be checking everything that has been already installed in the house. Once we get the inspection to pass code, then we will move forward with insulation, which is gonna take for this home size about three full days. And then after insulation, drywall process begins. So by the end of next week, this home, you guys, is gonna be transformed into the drywall process. So everything you see here that's exposed is gonna be all dried wall and covered. So I cannot wait to show that to you next week. So you guys, I'm very excited to share with you my new gadget. This is the laser measuring um, tool by Bosch. I'm really excited because it's really important for me and my clients as we, you know, tour different homes or when we're in the construction site and you and they want me to measure, for example, the ceiling height. What I do is I'll actually put it right here on the floor and then this um, laser light, the red beam goes all the way up to wherever I want it hold and then I click on it and here we go. So the ceiling height here is 21.9 feet. So, you know, sometimes I'll be doing a lot of showings and my clients would ask, oh, Kaori, how tall is the ceiling height? I wanna make sure I have these useful gadgets on me so that I could measure different dimensions of the room, especially if my clients are looking to, you know, possibly moving their large furniture and they wanna make sure their furniture fits. Don't you agree that this is a really good tool to have? I think everyone should have this, so check this out. For more videos about new construction homes, make sure you check out my playlist. Thank you so much for watching and I cannot wait to show you the final product of this beautiful home that will be completing this late fall. Thank you so much and see you on the next one.